think I want to hurt Paul? Mm, that's exactly what you're doing. So then is it better that I just lie to him? No, I think it might be better for you in this instance to put his feelings and concerns over your own. How about that? I, I, I don't want to make things any worse for him. Good, good, then don't. Then don't. What are you going to do? Well, I mean, how, how do you see this conversation going? Gee, hey, Paul, thanks so much for, uh, for saving my mother's life and falling out of that window and nearly killing yourself. Oh, by the way... By the way, I got my memory back, so see ya. Don't let the door hit you in the ass Brady, on the way come out. on, you know it's not like that. Then what is it like? What is it, How do you see it going? Are you going to sit by his bedside and let him down easy? And he's going to be okay with it and say, hey, no hard feelings. I got news for you, Will. It's not going to go that way. There's only so much a man can take. Sonny used him when he thought that, that you were dead. But the minute he realized that you were alive, you know what he did? He don't. No, that's not true. It is. He literally left their wedding to go looking for you, Will. That's exactly what happened. You're doing the same damn thing. You know what Paul is? Paul's a placeholder for you, for when you no. got your memory. I That's loved how him. You love him. I didn't, I, how, I, how was I, I didn't know I want you to be careful back. about using the word love. I don't think you know what that means, because to me, it doesn't seem like you give a damn about Paul. You and Sonny seem to want what you want, and you don't care about anybody else. Well, I care about my brother, because he's in a bed, and he's fighting for his life. He can't fight for himself, so I'm going to fight. I'm not going to let you and Sonny treat him this way. Whatever happens between Will and me, I'm just happy that Ari has her daddy back. I mean, I guess that is uh, ultimately her job, right? Make her children safe and loved. Now, I heard you, you took Thomas to the lake today. Yeah, I did. That must have been great. I know you've been missing him. Yeah, that was awesome. We had a ton of fun. You know, we could swim in and grilled. It's just this, uh, still just this cloud kind of hanging over us, you know. With Abigail in the, in the pregnancy, yeah, it's just uh, I, 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 I'd, I'd love to be able to spend the day as a family. But no matter, no matter, no matter how hard I try, I just can't, I, I can't get the idea that she's carrying Stefan's child on my mind. So, and that's not getting any easier. No, no. I spoke with Gabby about it. She brought up, you know, that she was in a similar situation with Lonnie carrying Eli's child. Well, what'd you say? She said that ultimately she couldn't get over the pain and the anger and uh, broke him up. That was different. Yeah, no, of course it was different, but I, that doesn't mean that I'm going to be able to... doesn't mean... I don't know how the hell I'm going to be able to accept that baby. Oh, finally. The truth. Go ahead, go for it. Why don't you tell me how you really feel?